What's up you guys, welcome back. Today is June 10th, it is our last night here in Arizona. Uh, yesterday we had the opportunity to tour the Olympia headquarters out here in Arizona and it was a really good experience. Uh, I've never been out there before and to be able to go and see where all the behind the scenes stuff that takes place for the Olympia production and all the hard work that goes into making this sport so great, we got to see all that firsthand. But going into the headquarters and seeing all the history and all the memorabilia, it was really inspiring, really motivating to actually be in there and to actually see some of my stuff in there. There was a lot of archives that were in there and um, even posters from my original Olympia. I was looking for my signature on the poster with all the athletes and actually found it. Early on in my career, it wasn't like this and now they put so much time and effort into building this sport up. It's been really cool to see. Just all this promotional stuff, even coming out here and doing that Olympia battle, this is all brand new to this sport and I think it's just really getting our fans involved and building a lot of hype and it's, it's really good to see it. I, I appreciate it as an athlete, especially coming back. It's bringing you guys inside to see the reality of what we're going through and what we deal with on a daily basis in the process of, you know, of us being Olympia competitors and what it goes, what, what it takes to get into it. Just going and being a part of this and spending time with the owner, Jake Wood, it was a good experience. I haven't ever had an opportunity to do that before, so it was just really, really cool. I, I got to meet a lot of really good people that are very high, high up in this industry that are involved in making this sport so great, and I got to spend some quality time with them. After we toured the Olympia headquarters, we headed over to the Wings of Strength venue where they hosted the bodybuilding show this weekend, and we did an athlete check-in. We got to do a seminar for the athletes, and to see the growth of the sport is absolutely, absolutely amazing and I'm just glad to be back a part of it. This is a prime time for bodybuilding and the sport is at an, the highest level right now and what they're doing for Olympia is really great and I think this year's Olympia is gonna be the best one yet. Today, uh, I started out the day with going to the gym. Gotta get my workout in. We went to a track fitness club. Actually, the owner of that gym, I worked with him early on in my career. He did a lot of um, photography stuff for me. So we got to reconnect. I got to see what he was doing now. He opened this amazing gym and had some great equipment in there. And I met some cool people in the gym as well. We got a good workout in. Every time I go step foot into a gym, I really appreciate the ones that dedicate their facility to accommodating bodybuilders. And, this spot definitely did that. So if you guys are ever out here in um, this area, Phoenix, Scottsdale area, Glendale area, make sure you guys check out Track Fitness. They got a really good facility out here. We headed over to the bodybuilding show. We went to the finals tonight. They had jumbotrons. The stage was set up great. They did an amazing job of the production. Tarek did a good job of getting us involved in the show. He introduced us to the crowd. He had us hand out awards. He also let us come up on stage and talk a little bit and kind of hype up Aaron and I's rivalry going into this year's Olympia. And I actually got to spend some quality time with Aaron today, believe it or not. <laughs> we got to hang out, we got to shoot the shit a little bit, and uh, I got to know Aaron on a more personal level, and we had some good conversations today. Hello, athletes and fans of bodybuilding. Jeremy Buendia here with the Vanquish uh, apparel. What are you wearing, Aaron Vince? <laughs> this, this, what this, are you wearing, Aaron Vince? I had a special delivery yesterday. Got a phone call, you say, like, hey, I got something for you downstairs. And of course, it was Chris Cormier. You know, we're both parents. We both got kids and talked a lot about our children. The struggles that we of, of being a father and, and doing Olympia, the joys we have of having children, be able to, to talk to each other without that competitiveness for a little bit. To kind of let that to the side and just you kind know, of just be two people just hanging out and chilling. Don't get me wrong, you guys, the competitiveness is still there. Like me and Aaron want to take each other's heads off on stage, and that's the plan. So don't think that we're going to be all buddy buddy holding hands throughout this prep because that's not the case. Like I said in the previous video, we have an understanding as far as just being human beings, like we respect each other on that level. But when it comes to the competitiveness and competing at Olympia, we're going to be shooting to bring each other down. That's the goal. We wanna win, both of us wanna win. Don't worry, you're not gonna get bored during this preparation. You don't act like we're not gonna be going going at it the whole time, because we are. My goal is to beat Aaron. I plan on beating Aaron. I know I can beat Aaron, especially after this weekend. You know, Aaron thinks he's gonna take the title back and go on this huge run, and my whole plan is to make sure that doesn't happen. We actually even were kind of joking about the loser has to buy the winner an Olympia chain this year, and I don't think that's gonna happen. We were just kind of joking about it. You know, Phil Heath has this dope Olympia be a pennant that he rocks and, uh, and I was like, you know what? How about the loser's gotta buy it for the winner? 
when you're laughing about it. But maybe we'll make that happen. I don't know. It depends on how much that Olympia pendant costs Phil Heath. Overall, this is a really good experience. I'm glad I came out here. It, it settled my nerves a lot. It settled a lot of my anxiety about my comeback and not really knowing where I stood with the current generation of men's physique competitors. I actually did a live stream before we headed to finals with Ben Quill, Aaron, and Jeremy Potvin. Omar Ventura was on there. It's crazy because like literally like the morning before we did the workout, Aaron was on a live saying like that I didn't deserve to be here and I have stand no chance against Brandon or him. Like last week I was watching competitors say I'm not gonna make the top 10 or not even be a top five, but on this live, you know, every single guy in there was like, no, Wendy is gonna be in that mix, top three, top five, gonna win, whatever it is, they're all aware now. And that was my goal to come out here to let people know that I am very much relevant. I'm very much a threat and I'm very much capable of winning again. What it's gonna come down to is the preparation in the next five months is who is gonna prepare the best. It's not a matter of who's gonna win that day, it's who's gonna win every day leading up. And that's my goal is to beat these guys that every day for the next five months by out dieting them, out training them, you know, out working them. And that's, if you guys know me, nobody outworks me. So with that being said, I have more confidence than ever leading into this Olympia. I got more drive than ever, and I got more support than ever. I've made a lot of changes in my life, and I'm showing that to people, and I'm motivating people, and inspiring people to make those changes as well if they need to. And it's great to see the comments, people saying to me, you know, you know, Jeremy, I've kind of let myself go the last five years as well. I haven't been in the gym, I haven't been taking care of myself, and seeing you make this comeback has motivated me to do the same. Somebody said today, man, I got back in the gym for the first time in five years because I watched your videos. And that makes me that makes me feel good. That's the whole point of this comeback. You know, God's had a plan for me this whole time. And you know, I won't I wouldn't change anything in my past because it set me up for this moment right now to do what I'm doing. And it's given me a purpose, it's given me a reason, and it's given me a great story that people can relate to on a level that will motivate and inspire them to be better. If I'm positively affecting one person, if I'm positively affecting thousands of people, that's my job and that's what God has in plan for me is to be a good example. You guys all know my past, I wasn't the best example and I think moving forward, you guys can all see the changes and I hope to continue to be an inspiration to you guys and I hope to continue to motivate you guys because I'm gonna tell you what, if I can make the changes that I've made, if I can change my heart the way I changed my heart, I know that you guys can do it too. Don't ever give up on yourselves, you guys. You know, life is tough, life is gonna knock you down, but it's a matter of getting back up, recognizing the mistakes you made in the past, and not making the same ones. If there's anything you guys can take away from me, is that change is possible, we are capable of being better. I'm just very thankful. I'm very thankful for everything in my life. I'm thankful for the support, and I'm very grateful for the opportunities that are presenting themselves. You guys are gonna see the best version of me in the next five months. I'm just really excited. I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. I'm excited to come to the stage in November and display all the hard work that I put in to get back to this point in my life. It's gonna be a fun ride and I hope you guys are enjoying the process and I hope you guys continue to watch because we're just getting started. A lot more to come.